Praise the Lord. Good morning and good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It gives us um, an immense pleasure to meet with you through these uh, online sessions. And we strongly believe that you are benefiting the maximum uh, through these kind of sessions. And uh, our intention, we have told many times, that is to make uh, things easier. And, and at the same time, we also shed a lot of light on the, on the areas where um, Christendom doesn't seem to focus much, right? And that's the calling God gave us. And uh, we definitely do that within, I mean, we are working professionals too, but then we pull up that time, that extra efforts, and we have that passion to share the word of God with our brethren and sisters. All right, so here, uh, what we are what we had been talking in the last few sessions we have created a separate series or a playlist where we have we are going to pile up all the teachings of jesus right the teachings of jesus inspired by holy spirit were written as epistles letters from paul and you can see those 13 books but there are four books where jesus himself directly communicated as how a man communicates right face to face with a person um, and that's how Jesus walked across the planet or three and a half years of ministry. He did so many things that if it were to be recorded, John already told that, you know, it's not possible for us to, um, you know, record all of that because uh, there is so much to be written or to be um, uh, to be registered on, 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 on honest doings or honest uh, miracle works or whatnot or preachings and teachings. And I told you the main reason was because it was written on animal skin with an ink and both were equally costly, expensive, and they, they couldn't afford. But with whatever they could afford, they still did, did a decent job in recording everything. And and this Bible that you have in your hands um, itself is more than enough. One lifespan is not enough to research, analyze, meditate, apply to our lives. That's the main reason why we have these kind of sessions and all our sessions have a clear motive as how we could easily apply to our lives and make our lives better right many people get into the line of theology get into the line of uh, many other things traditional aspects mainline churches uh, but they miss on this emphasis the very reason why jesus came to this world is help us improve the quality of life right life in bondage life in sinful deeds life in uh, all sorts of you know uh, bad thoughts mood swings bad moods fear worry this is where he was talking predominantly we did that we have done a session very recently about um, beatitudes right and we explained the supreme form of blessing and you will be astonished to hear how blessed you are already right there are very unfortunate cases where uh, people have lost many things. They lost their health and they were born lame, born blind. But there are very few cases, right? Very uh, minor percentage of people who unfortunately go through these kind of things. But otherwise, if you are in a better state, then you don't have uh, any reasons to complain is what uh, we could technically look through and we will be able to, um, you know, analyze or understand to ourselves. This is why very important. It's very important that we need to be uh, soaked in the word of God. I mean, it doesn't mean that you need, oh, shall I resign my job and get into full-time ministry? Resigning your job and full-time ministry it does no connection. You need to continue your job and start with part-time ministry and may God decide on a day. Right? That, that, that's exactly what I would like to question all the people when they say, I want to do something for the Lord. What are you doing already for the Lord? Start in smaller scales. Start in smaller measures and God will expand that and he will in larger scales and larger measures and he will take you across the ends of the earth as he had promised to every one of us. Acts 1.8. Use that smallest talent that you have. Use that little time you get and be a blessing to others. Right? Doesn't mean you should refrain from praying, fasting, reading the word of God. And at the end of the day, your life is very important than you being a blessing to others. Right? That's what Paul said. I am a blessing to others. And what is the point of me losing my own soul? <laughs> and he's very mindful of that, right? And I'm sure he spent time in private and praying to God and all that. 
all right today we are going to talk about yet another teaching from the bible this is this this series again i say this has been created to record all the direct teachings of jesus christ to the mankind right and jesus uh, teachings were also spoken through apostles after he is taken away into the clouds and holy spirit came of the same stature and nature of the same wisdom and the same power which jesus had but he is the one who lives inside of us and he inspired and jesus continued to speak through the holy spirit but these are the direct teachings where we want to separate it out from the ones which were inspired that's why we created another series apostolic uh, epistles from new testament right teachings from apostolic epistles uh, new test from new testament and we have started talking about many concepts do not grieve the holy spirit and why not to worry and all that right um, uh, so not why not to worry sorry do not grieve about the holy spirit and who is your enemy uh those things we have started we have recently started you won't find too many sessions there but slowly we will start piling it up we will just start piling it up therefore it's easy for you to uh, differentiate between what jesus taught versus what apostles had taught and both are equal equally good nothing is to be ignored don't misinterpret it right both of them are equally to be considered you need to abide by the word of god but there is a difference right you you feel that warmth when jesus directly talks nothing like talking to a leader rather than talking to the leader's assistant you you know the difference no you're all sitting there as if you have not understood but i'm sure you understood okay now let us talk about today's reading will be from matthew chapter 10 verses 16 to 26 and we are going to talk about a topic which when you hear of the title itself you will feel something inside of you what is that persecution persecution okay and jesus spent plenty of time in prophesying about christians how they would be persecuted uh, the moment from he is taken all the way to the end of the ages and uh, some of these things even you can also connect it with the the tribulation period where the later uh, half not the first half the second half the, the next three and a half years would be the um the 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 what i say the greatest form of tribulation it will take right which man cannot even imagine they will be tortured but obviously um for that day to happen the current days are no inferior to that day already we are going through a lot of persecution however god is still merciful um and he is taking care of the mankind and the both wicked and the righteous right he is sending rain on both the people is Uh, making the harvest to be plentiful and the waters are still flowing through the streams and the brooks and there are some disasters are also being permitted by god therefore man will start looking upon god for help but i don't think they realize or probably they are looking upon the wrong incorrect uh, gods and goddesses whom they think they are gods the nature is being worshiped as gods and goddesses by many people in india right or they build some idol tree or they create some form paint it and black and blue and they go and worship right none of this is from the bible and none of these can be spoken openly also why because it becomes religious conviction uh, and it's by law you will be uh, uh, condemned and you can be punished india is a democratic country but we cannot go and talk in uh, public forcing people or condemning them what they do is wrong everyone have their right to do uh, practice their religion and i think it's the same across the world so what we are doing is we create some social forums public forums and we speak about the god whom we know the true god the only god from the bible and no man can go on the day of judgment and say i was not aware no i will come and condemn those people on that day not now this guy is lying why because i spent my energy efforts my sweat and blood uh, on behalf of jesus inspired by the holy spirit disciple in christ and i had shared the word of god with passion but this man this woman ignored it it could be uh, catholic christians it could be our hindu brothers it could be our muslim brothers and sisters but then i'll tell you god is working great miracles among the unbeliever un- unbelievers more than or non christians more than the christians lot of people are accepting and i will tell you what they are truly very good people i have worked with them i have spoken to them and they accept jesus but not christians and they are right technically because the way how these fellows behave there is no connectivity between their behavior and the bible and that's why we have to create this series to talk about the teachings of bible teachings of jesus teachings of 
the apostles separately and we have to get into the uh, details to help you understand that the way we are living our life has no connectivity and that's why we are not uh, witnesses true witnesses and we, we we have nothing to testify we are not the true uh, uh, testimonies before the non christians right dr rajendra prasad was one of the ex presidents and he said um, uh, you know i i i i see uh, the christians claiming an extraordinary promise from the word of god but they are living a life that is even lesser than ordinary uh, something like that he told and which is very true <laughs> and that's why we have to understand the word of god and start applying those principles in in our lives okay persecution uh, technically meaning it is like torturing somebody abusing somebody punishing somebody huh? harassing somebody all this nomenclatures can be encompassed into one word and it's called as persecution okay so that persecution is what you and i will go through as christians especially the follower of jesus uh if you are calling yourself as followers in jesus but oh, my life is so well so smooth you are not a true follower you are not a true disciple there is a wolf hidden in you yeah you need to find that out and you need to kick that wolf out of your life because why jesus said it very clearly that i have come here not to unite people but to bring divisions divisions between the darkness and light divisions between the wicked and righteous divisions between the evil deeds and the holy deeds unholy deeds right and you need to understand that you cannot live a normal life adjusting and saying hello and yes and okay to everything that happens in this world yeah you uh, be angry do not sin you will live under that principle you won't go and start pelting people with stones or start killing them or murdering them bloodshed no you will still forgive them you will accept them as your brethren you will still be patient you will still be tolerant yet you will not mingle with them you will not take things so lightly you will not be adjusting to things that are against the word of god against the principles and the doctrines may it be your closest ally may it be your immediate boss you will have the guts you will have the boldness and you will not be a timid person uh, and you will not even think twice to say no no is a no good example you are working in a corporate field and you will have to attend few get togethers and parties you will silently be absconding or without a choice your position demands you to be present over there you go there and you pick up a kind of um, apple juice or something like that and you will go and sideline yourself you won't be part of those dances uh, and alcohol alcoholic and etc you you just cannot mingle your heart will not permit you i'm just giving an example again don't start judging yourself yeah i told you i gave an example you can neatly use your wisdom and uh, side, you know sideline yourself and uh, corner yourself from such occasions you will refrain and daniel did the same the law was passed but he opened his windows and he started praising god looking into the directions of where jerusalem was and they used it as an allegation but you do you see how god worked out a miracle throwing into the uh, den of lions that itself is uh, what there was a persecution permitted by god right persecution was there right from the ancient ages until the coming of jesus and it only doubled or tripled by million folds after jesus had come why because he elevated the uh, laws and commandments to the next level very good example is when you are angry and you uh, hit a person and make his tooth to you know fall down and you will be also judged in the similar manner and tooth for tooth and eye for eye that's the old testament whereas here if you feel angry and if you want to murder your brother in your heart itself you have a thought you already murdered him you are already a accused yeah you don't have to go to a prostitute house and lie with her on a, on a and share her bed that that's when you are called as an adulterer no if you think of a woman looking at her lustfully that itself you have committed prostitution this is why the new testament is very tough <laughs> you are all thinking old testament has uh, so many books and new testament has only 27 books and all that no but look at the commandments and laws 613 versus 1050 old testament versus new testament you know jesus elevated it the quality of life the living of life and how easily and promptly perfectly you can become like god matthew 548 will be fulfilled in your life what is matthew 548 
therefore you shall be perfect just as your father in heaven is perfect john 14:12 also will be fulfilled like as much as i have done things you will be able to do the same or similar things and more than i had done how it is possible when you follow these laws and commandments these teachings of god through jesus christ right and that's why we have started this session now persecution is something like what we are still explaining that right uh, it happens to you for sure without a choice right either through evil forces and we have spoken about that in who is your enemy series and evil spirits and uh, works in uh, uh, works against the mankind six episodes we have spoken already there so when you go through these sessions you will understand how the powers of darkness and the principalities and the heavenlies work against the mankind and you will have some or other problems being permitted by god yeah temptations which jesus went through by himself to make you stronger to make you realize that you are stronger to make you understand and help you grow in faith to help you become a matured christian all these are the things which god will permit without a choice without you asking or not why because he cares for you he cares that you should not live in the timidness you should not live in this kind of feeble situation and you need to be a stronger person a veteran a champion right that's why god allows these things and the evil forces are permitted god opens that hedge to touch you yeah you are inflicted with sickness yet i am righteous you have that feeling in your heart you are right brother don't be having that uh, ill feeling saying or you know doubt doubtfulness whether i am really righteous you are righteous but god permits that why to build your faith through that affliction through that sickness through that trouble through that brother huh through your family that have come against you for no reasons they abuse you accuse you they mock you they ridicule you understand this is the first variety of tormentation or this is the first variety of persecution permitted by god and everything is permitted by god by the way <laughs> and it's only for our good what are you saying only for my good will i permit such persecutions to my child and i am good father i don't permit since you are not permitting that's why you are not able to control your child after certain age age limit correct or not it's not about persecuting taking a iron rod heating it up and then uh, backing him with that not it's not about that physical abuse i'm not talking here about that right it's about the character building that character nurturing the behavior and teaching the right attitude therefore the child grows in a way that it is able to decide things that are suitable that are meaningful that are worthy understand that's why you don't see your child ending up as alcoholic or drug addict or a um, you know rapist or a or a terrorist right why because you are nurturing him from the beginning if it requires some chastisements punishments right you are going to do it proverbs 3 11 and 12 you have to take and read as much as a father uh, who cares for his son will not allow him to get on the wrong side and he will ensure that he takes that measure to chastise him and get him back to track i also do the same thing then why you call me differently good father right that don't call yourself as a good father if you are in the habit of buying everything that your son asks you need to learn to say no i'm giving little bit of psychiatric uh, teaching also on the parenthood lines right um, why you should say no because not all uh, that is as an s yes from the child is an s yeah there are because the child cannot understand and s can be a no very surely right and you need to teach him that why you are you are saying no to an s from the child yes i need it no i cannot give it why because it's not suitable it's not this age probably the child wants the biggest knife and it loves it would you be a stupid father to buy that why because the same knife can kill the child right you 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 would say no but there are stupid fathers that would want to buy oh i will never say no to my child because god gave me all rich uh, uh, god made me very rich and all richness and i have capability to buy it, uh, then then the child would want a serpent you will buy a serpent and give into your into its into its hand you want right or maybe you will so that tells how stupid you are i'm just giving some crude examples similarly the first variety of persecution is all about Uh, nurturing us with good character and behavior and building our faith 
building our patience building our tolerance building that humanity right that's when you understand other person's difficulty you are, you don't go through the sickness and you will say oh father heal that person how will you feel that you pray for the sick right you pray for the lame and blind god sends you how do you feel that it doesn't mean that god will strike you and make you a lame <laughs> then go and pray for the lame no through some other sicknesses which you will be able to bear by the way our god is not a sadist i want you to be very clear about it right he's teaching you something but not as a sadist but out of love that's why 1 corinthians 10:13 he will not allow anything that more than what you could bear yet even during that situations where he is trying to correct things where he is trying to build in new um, behavioral patterns and etc he will make a way for you to escape he will ensure that the limit is not crossed yeah he he understands exactly what is your limit what is your breaking point and he cares for you bible says in first first peter chapter 5 verse Uh, seven he is the lord who cares for us and he is the lord who cares for all that concerns you and he will perfect it some 138 and verse 8 and we are the apple of his eyes zechariah 2:8 and he is the loving father compassionate bound to mercy some 145 8 and 9 and and his character doesn't change even after a million years and it has never changed and nobody no one knew his age and such a god tells that i'm going to allow certain persecutions through afflictions inflictions etc now when you are well fit when you are when you have gone through all these persecutions the first level of persecutions permitted by god out of love and care you are strong enough and you are ready to face the wiles of the devil <laughs> now what is this as if this is not enough yes this is not enough according to god standards and for some reasons people have always spoken about the grace of jesus christ in the form of materialistic blessings and that's the reason people who come from other uh, sects other religious uh, tribes and all that they always come with an attitude of oh you come to jesus you will get new car new bungalow new dress and new clothing food you will get always and all that but look at the uh, testimony of paul most of the time he lived in starving starvation never he didn't have food no clothing clothing means he was not naked but during the terrible times he would be put in dungeon where there will be water and it is it is a cold season winter season and he and he would say get get my cloak and i want some covering and all that this is the way how he lived and suffering is a blessing through suffering is where your character and perseverance is built bible says that's why bible says in james 1 2 that count it all as joy when the trials are permitted when persecutions are permitted by god and when he would permit is what we are trying to explain not before you finish um your second pu you are ready for your graduation understand before your schooling you are not ready to get into a college why because there are certain teachings required basics being taught there mathematics and chemistry and physics and biology botany zoology you need to understand geography and history when you are well equipped with the basics when you have that knowledge that's when you are qualified to get into the next level that is the degree college university and etc isn't it and then you get into the masters and then you get get into doctorate phd's and then you become scientist and then you become a super professional etc as much as it is very much applicable to the academic way of dealing uh, dealing our lives or living our lives uh, as how it is stipulated and where do you think they extracted this principle this is exactly extracted from bible i will tell you this is the way how god prepares his servants that means somebody asks me asks a funny question does it mean brother always i need to look for persecutions i don't go through any struggle in life does it mean god is not with me actually the simple answer is yes why because old testament is not new testament old testament you will be given camels cattle material prosperity everything and even those people went through a lot of tortures correct all the pro- prophets and prophetesses who came and proclaimed the name of uh, the messiah the proclaimed about god they were all killed tortured and killed you know how i say i was killed a wooden log was taken wooden log was taken and it was a uh, kind of uh, hollowed made like a hollow wooden log and he was made to sit in that hollow wooden log they chop them they cut them vertically into two halves this is how isia prophet was killed and you take and read the life of every single prophet how they were killed brutally murdered 
yet they counted it all as joy in the middle of their suffering every apostle of jesus were tortured and killed beheaded paul was beheaded right and you don't have to look for that beheading day or that torturing day and etc no but what we are trying to say here is if you have not gone through more or lesser experiences like how these people had gone through which we will read in a moment and jesus is trying to encourage the church be prepared why because count it all joy that's how you can be a testimony that's that's when the best out of you come and he gives an example right only when the fragrance bottle is broken uh, or the perfume bottle is broken sorry perfume bottle is broken the fragrance comes out you keep it closed what happens you won't feel, smell it right similarly the best quality that is given to you the best talent the best skills the rough wave produces a successful sailor correct no if the sailor is always rowing the boat in the pond or a lake not even a river can he call himself as the best sailor you put him in the uh, river where the current is more current means the waves the uh, the waves are more uh, he will fall down he will topple the boat he will kill himself and also the other people he will he cannot be a good sailor right similarly we cannot be the true disciples of christ if we have not gone through the sufferings and persecutions right and again i'm 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 not trying to tell you about the degree of persecution that god decides god decides we are only talking about the various degree of persecutions that mankind had gone through therefore what god kept in store for you he will ensure that you go through for every good reasons and that's when you are called a true disciple and doesn't mean you don't grow uh, in way materially prosperously and etc because god decides right and peter looks at john and then he looks at jesus and asks how about this guy because god already predicts jesus predicts already how peter is going to be uh kill and he says how about this man you know what jesus said what is it for you just mind your business <laughs> if he were to live until my second coming let him live for another 1000 years what is your problem peter this is how you should question yourself and look god and ask him to lead you and i'm not trying to tell you that every one of us will go through these kind of physical abuses and physical persecutions beheading and nailing to nail to the cross upside down crucifixions and i'm not trying to say that but then the troubles that we face in our lives sometimes we feel it is endless for me brother when am i going to be out of all this tortures people either torture me emotionally or physically they abuse me little bit of kickings here and there and or some people don't go through physical abuses but always emotional tortures one side god is blessing me prospering me helping me to prosper i'm rich stinking rich but no peace at mind why because he always people rebel against me inside family outside family at workplace yet i am prosperous all that i touch is becoming gold brother i'll tell you most assuredly god is with you and you need to understand that is the calling why because you can be a testimony to others who go through the similar troubles similar troubles and moments and tribulations that is the beauty behind persecution right daniel was thrown into the den of lions whereas in the early age christianity uh, the roman emperors like uh, uh, you know uh, nero and cyrus all these guys they tortured people by throwing them into the ground and they will open up the lion cages and the lions will come and eat them up they were not saved they were not taken care they were let to suffer that's new testament but daniel an angel came and saved him you think the same angel were not Uh, became handicapped or not equipped with the power to come and save these new age christians all the more they would die to save why because the power of jesus and the name and then the power behind the name of jesus and the blood has got all authority but we will be submitted to certain persecutions and that's new testament and that's what jesus is trying to explain here time and again to the mankind and that's what you and i need to understand with that comprehensive attitude and the belief that we are called to suffer um, and not always to connect with the physical abuses inflection sickness and all that each one of us have got some kind of 
sufferings in store and when we go through that the originality comes out the nature changes attitude changes we grow stronger all right time to get into the um, gospel and we read what jesus got to say about this um, persecution and that's what we are going to meditate so far you're with me sorry i took plenty of time to talk a little bit about persecution and i had to tell you this okay now matthew chapter 10 verse 16 behold i send you out as a sheep in the midst of wolves very good beginning no <laughs> when you're following jesus who are you beloved you and i are sheep and who are we following jesus who is our good shepherd what is the job of good shepherd good shepherd's job is to protect his sheep from all kind of wild animals wild beasts and that's what david witnesses to king saul where i was a shepherd uh, i'm a shepherd when a lion came from the woods and tried to swallow my sheep i opened its mouth and pulled my sheep out and i killed it by catching it by its beard <laughs> and king saul was thinking probably this guy is lying but he believed after he had uh, put down <clears throat> the goliath that fellow no one could defeat him <laughs> likewise that's the duty of a good shepherd to save his sheep right but what this good shepherd lord jesus christ is also saying is i'm sending you into this world which is flooded with wolves wolves means what wolf nature is very cunning right cunningly you will be devoured and the character of satan is described in uh, first peter chapter 4 uh, verse 7 uh, or 5 7 sorry um, casting all your care up no five, five uh, um, eight sorry five eight be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour now when we say devil means oh devil is somewhere no devil works through mankind that's why you need to go through the series uh, who is your enemy and uh, groups of evil spirits um, and the evil forces when you go through such sessions you will understand uh, how these demonic forces work and fulfill their desires through mankind and they need their help because they are just spirit without the help of mankind they need a parking place they need a place where they could park themselves and fulfill their desires and the wiles of the devil will be manifested the wiles of the devil will be revealed and for which they need a container and the container is nothing but the human body human mind humans human nature right and that's why you will see when people fight with each other observe them intently keenly you will see their face becoming like devil right they fight quarrel the teeth will be visible barking dogs you will see in them you understand that is the kind of world we are living in and majority of the people have fallen on the side of devil correct show me a percentage of christians who live by the word of god who understand the maturity to live as a christian in the middle of suffering they are not impatient they don't curse they don't talk anything ill illfully they don't curse they don't persecute they forgive their brethren they always live according to the kingdom of god and its righteousness show me yeah of course they are there but very tiny percentage and who are those people they are the sheep and the rest of all wolves what else i'm not saying your bible from where i'm reading it is written right they are the wolves and what is wolves character cunning devouring prowling huh? spanking and stealing all these kind of things you will see and this world hurts these innocent sheep and they think we are powerless yes we are not having powers now but we will be coming with powers along with jesus in that battle of armageddon yeah revelation 19 you will take and read on that day these guys will have will pay their price <laughs> and we will rule these people thousand years of jerusalem rule no we will rule these people we, there is a day where we will regain our powers but this is the day where we will lose our powers and we will suffer and you know what there are many people who will get touched with this behavior 
Jesus never asked us to behave like sheep, innocent, forgive people in the midst of persecution, say, I forgive you and all that. Why? Because it touches people. Yeah, a rough, uh, a soft answer turns a, a harsh person. When, when, when he's coming with a lot of anger to come and slap at you, you say nothing and you just stand there. And even after slapping also, you say, fine, it's okay. That's a soft answer which will uh, turn the wrath of a person, right? And we are, that, that, that's sheep's character. And in the midst of these, uh, in the world, what is world offering today? A lot of aggression, a uh, lot of bad habits, a lot of socializing uh, tools where you can comment anything, garbage each other, throw garbages at each other, throw pelt stones at each other in the form of words, I'm saying, socializing media political world always speaking lies whatever they will not do they will say we will do but after they come to power not a single um, agenda will be fulfilled we have seen that enough no everywhere in any country you take what is this world offering nothing good so can i kill myself and say i'm done with this world no living in the midst of this world as a testimony as how jesus lived as overcomers in the midst of persecutions See, again, I mean to say persecution need not necessarily happen in the similar way as how it happened to the saints of God. But living in this world itself is a persecution. <laughs> Somebody is laughing louder. Oh, am I so persecuted? Now, don't put that sad face. It's not to build that self-sympathy in you. No, it's to build that courage that it is all, all it's, it's been already told and prophesied. That it's not something new. Because you can, this world cannot offer you anything good. In this world, there is full of troubles. John 14, 1, 27 says. Time is running like anything. No? One thing I hate is this worldly clock. And when I go to heaven, I don't want to look at the clock at all. Why? Because I want to just enjoy living with God in eternity for ages, for ages, for ages. And similarly, also you should feel while you live on earth. Why? While you are living on earth, you are, you are living for God. After you're taken away, you're living with God. What else? Okay. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. See, always Jesus talks about the problem and he also gives a solution. That's the beauty of the teachings behind Jesus. Right? Um, when Jesus teaches something, wow. It's amazing to listen, pay attention. Now, he talks about two different creatures of God. One is serpent and the second is dove. Why such serpents? I did some research in the internet to see how these snakes are being called as wise. They have certain intellectual capabilities which even men don't have is what they are perceiving, scientists. Why? Because they have several behaviors uh, which is like, you know, they have the capability, ability to, ability to recognize its um, opponent from the other side. It can clearly understand. It will be hiding under the woods or in the rock and it can see a man walking or see a creature like lion or something. It can immediately learn the strengths and weaknesses of the opponent. Yeah. The ability in the wild to recognize its boundaries. See, it can also make certain predictive analysis whether the opponent will cross and come to harm, right? And it makes all these predictions and that's when it, it goes and easily devours the enemy. One knock finished, put the enemy down. It waits for its opportunity. It's very patient. Yeah, it has got that analytical capabilities. Uh, just register all that I'm telling you. You will understand. I'm, I'm going to tell you why I'm telling all this. Right? Jesus calls them as very clever, very wise, intellectual. Why? Because they they are excellent uh, 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 trackers and very smart they know how to track the situation why because they have sharp ears uh, i think some people are saying i don't know whether to believe or not from a kilometer and a half distance or a, for a, from a miles distance it can hear the voice of somebody walking and coming towards yeah sharp ears that means the listening skills. First of all, it has some additional capability. We cannot hear something that's happening a kilometer distance, right? We can happen few me. We can see here few meters. But if it's a terrible blast, we can hear. Can you hear somebody walking at a kilometer's distance? You cannot. But 
the the principle that we need to learn is it has got that sharp perseverance and listening skills very attentive no distractions that's one of the capability which makes its uh, make the serpent very wise and intellectual yeah and and thirdly they instill lot of fear and win, win their respect how some of the enemy discovered snake is there can you go and just like that take a snake in your hand just like you're catching a worm from the sand or taking an ant and playing with it no before you touch it it will ensure that it will come close and as if it's going to you know bite you and all that and it will uh, sprinkle that venom right the cobras they have the capability to spray that venom on your face and some venoms are going to make you blind yeah it's not easy to play with a snake yeah and even the guys who are having this kind of skills and all they have the charm to attract the snake with that music etc they can't just near it no one can why because they instill that fear to win that respect hey show that respect to me i am a snake man i am a serpent ah they have that pride that's why these guys uh, are very scared of everyone is very scared of um, historically you know serpents and snakes they represent fertility or a um, lot of Uh, uh you know they 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 no not fertility sorry that's a wrong word um uh the snake they represent lot of pride in them and uh they also you know kind of um, what i say shed their skin right and they are the symbolization of their rebirth transformation skills and Im- immortality and and healing capabilities they are also given with these kind of additional um, uh you know uh what is the additional blessings i would say <laughs> they have that i do not know how it all works together but this is what scientists say right enough of talking about snakes i i want you to understand why it is being spoken there the reason is i will tell you whatever we spoke just now can be applied as principles to increase the level of our wisdom that's exactly what jesus is trying to say you can learn from the serpents right be a good listener be good at analyzing things right be good in predicting things don't be a fool or a stupid to get stoned see jesus uh, uh, did not get into certain places why because he doesn't want to get killed this time has not yet come and likewise paul avoided going to few areas when he was let down in basket and made a way to escape he never said no i will go and get killed no he said i will have to go why because there are various uh, preachings and teachings i had to do just now began my ministry and he accepted it that's called as wisdom that's called as analyzing things that's called as paying attention right and not being a stupid not be not being a fool be wise but the same jesus when he was taken into sanhedrin and before the court of pilate he never spoke a word he just accepted it because he he understood through his analysis and through his listening capabilities of what god is trying to say god says your time has come likewise paul also was well aware when he goes to rome he is going to be killed there and he went right listening capabilities understanding who is your enemy where is your enemy how is he approaching what is your limit what is his limit enemy's limit what is your boundary what is enemy's boundary all these are part of the analytical skills do we apply all of these yeah that's why you are a failure you are a loser in this world you don't have this wisdom you don't have this intellectuals being learned from a serpent that's why jesus is telling you are a sheep but you are not going to become a prey you will find a hiding place you will use your wisdom to stay away from wolves you know the wolves territory very well you will learn and you will not get in there probably you will hide under the shadow of the wings of my lord almighty where there is peace there is healing malachi 4:2 you will always walk with the shepherd you will not be a stupid to move away from shepherd and you know what is one more capability of the sheep sheep always expects the shepherd to speak yeah when the shep- because otherwise it will keep turning and looking whether the shepherd is there or not to ensure that it is that's the nature uh, or the character uh, characteristic difference between the sheep and a goat goat no it is it will not fall by the shepherd that's where the rod and stuff you will take and start beating the uh, goats why because it will be scared if they go to a different place they will get that beating whacking but sheep has got that inbuilt quality of not losing its shepherd at any cost that's why shepherds will be using this words like 
uh, you know, Sai, S I G H, Sai, like, you know, ba, 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 something like that. These days, people talk tongues itself like this, same tongues repeating for 20 years. That That's not tongues, according to me. Anyway, ab about that, I spoke very well and uh, inspired by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit himself spoke about the tongues through me. Uh, you please listen to that series. We have explained from the verses three di different types of tongues, angeling tongue, demonic tongue, and the tongues normally spoken by men. That is like our language, mother tongue. I've, very, I've described everything, right? You, you still don't agree? Come back to us. We still love you. No problem. But then these guys talk in a peculiar language where the sheep can understand. And always that communication is happening between the shepherd and the sheep. If the communication is broken, what happens? Shep sheep immediately turns and start looking for shepherd. Where is my shepherd? What are the principle you are learning here? You are a believer in Christ. Do you have that kind of connectivity and that communication with God every day? And if God starts st stops talking in your heart, you don't feel the presence of God. See, again, I'm not talking about that physical feeling and all that which these people are talking in various congregations, right? You'll feel like fire on head, fire, fire, fire. You keep clapping your hands. I'm not talking about that feeling, huh? right? I'm talking about the presence which leads you from the front. You turn around. Ah, I have lost my shepherd. Where is my Holy Spirit? Where are my guardian angels? Then you are not the sheep, right? You are that stupid goat which always tries to find a reason to escape pleasures of the world. Yeah, that little pleasure before that um, stupid pornography you sit and watch. Are you flirt with that female without your wife's knowledge? Who are you? You are that you are even worse than a wolf. Yeah, be cunning like a wolf at least, right? But don't be a stupid goat, but be a um, uh, obedient sheep. Yeah, three different creatures, three different emotional attestations we are giving. Obedience versus cunning versus stupidity. You choose. Wonderful, right? It is coming out very well. Holy Spirit is doing a very good job this morning. That's why you need to learn from the sheep, from the wolf and from the serpent. But there is something else the uh, Lord Jesus is talking. Harmless as doves. So you are that wonderful sheep. You are that intellectual person who learned this wisdom from um, serpent. Yet you know how will your behavior be? Harmless. Turn your Bible to Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Philippians 2, 5. I will tell you why harmless word is being used by Jesus. And Paul mentions about Christ here. Philippians 2, 5. Philippians 2, 5. Let him let us let this mind be in you, which also was in Jesus Christ, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Jesus never used any of the powers given to him to harm the mankind, but he used those powers which he obtained through prayers, by the way. It, it was not supernaturally given. No, he prayed, he sought for it 40 days in fasting in wilderness. You don't want it as try it out. You will understand. One day be on fasting in wilderness without water and food. You will be scorched in that sun or bitten by a serpent or finished. I'm not saying man cannot, but it, it really caused something for him through which he acquired these powers and through which miracles happens. Yet, Jesus refused to use one of these powers for himself. That's why Bible tells that he was tempted like us on, in every aspect. He too might have got fever, headache, body pain. Yeah, he would have walked 50 miles to meet that woman, the Gentile woman. 50 miles, his legs would be aching. Next day again, he goes to ministry in the middle of those aches. He went through all that we would go through in that human form. Yet he would not use any of those powers to heal himself. No, saying no to those is called as humility. First of all, let's talk about humility. And secondly, we will connect it with this harmless nature. Why? Because you will be given all powers. Today, you know how these pastors or prophets are all behaving like Maharajas. You are talking against me. Huh? God will come and teach you a lesson. Cursed will you be. Who are you, brother? Who are you? You are the servant of God and you are talking to the children of God. Show some respect. And that means you have not understood Matthew chapter 
10 and verse 16 you are a harmful person you are a serpent you are a wolf you are not a minister in christ why you don't have christ like mindset philippians 2 5 is not working in you your head has been filled with clay i think garbage is uh, you know kind of replaced that wisdom check out now yes i'm quite annoyed because this is the way how people behave they are like you know they come in that audi car and you know they will have that red carpet and they will be welcomed with that bouquets and all that and they will sit like maharaja when their time comes oh this is what christ is telling me if somebody comments anything about them or the dress finished they will call them and they will take them for a ride in all congregations this happens don't pretend as if you have not seen or been aware there are very good people there are very good pastors very good prophets very good presbyters in, in congregations like csi i've seen them but equally there are bad people also right and what did harmless nature means you will have the powers you will be given the gifts but you will not use it to torture somebody that have spoken against you you will not use it for your personal desires that's the nature of dove you try to harm a dove it will fly away but you try to harm a eagle it will ensure that you you are taught a good lesson yeah you try to harm a lion you try to harm a serpent but you harm a dove it will fly away no no i don't want i don't want even the dove uh, dove can harm you know it has good claws sharp claws and it has a beak come coming coming and giving one bite with its beak on your head then you will know what it is not to play with doves but dove doesn't do why it's not part of its character it's not part of his inhibition right that's not the way how god built dove harmless i'm still on my first words do you know and we are supposed to read all the 26 uh, 16 verses or sorry 10 verses are you all with me or not looks like we need to have one more session but no this is not a series teaching so we have to conclude we will see what best to do are you all with me or not brothers you understand huh? don't use these powers given to you for your own personal desires but it is for you to bless others you need to pray over others and heal them not use their powers and curse somebody may god inflict you with diseases i've heard people praying like that may he be killed why he spoke against me who are you you are that wolf <laughs> you are a devil in other words it's not the holy spirit does all of this it's the evil spirit in you okay let me let me try to read all that jesus is trying to say here verse number 17 but beware of men for they will deliver you to councils and scourge you in their synagogues those days synagogues were the ones which will scorch and peter uh, paul was scorched P peter was scorched stilas was scorched all these people were scorched beating on the back whipping them today many christians are being um, killed right even in india and across the world we are not just knowing right many people are being killed they shed blood they're tortured may not be physically but emotionally also right Many people uh, call us as min minorities. We are called as minorities in India, and we are—they uh, are going to impl Im implement a lot of policies to ensure that these minorities are segregated. And if they don't have valid documents, they'll be sent to some camp. They'll be treated like refugees. Is this the way how democracy works? But these are the last days where you will be treated. Yeah, and you'll be tortured. And those days versus, versus these days, I'm comparing right and it is it is no different and in the early age of christianity uh, people would be lit as torch yeah they will tie them to a post and they will be pouring the tar kind of thing or you know fuel kind of thing and they will be litting them, them to burning them up and they will be enjoying some games some games will be happening in the stadium and they are the torch lamp this is the way how people were tortured beloved anyway and verse 18 and you will be brought before governors kings for my sake as a testimony to them and to the gentiles yeah you will be uh, a disgrace you will be treated as a disgrace and uh, you will be tortured it happens in your at your workplace also right for no reasons you will be tortured you will be called as useless you'll be called as an underperformer why governors are nothing but you know our superiors it, it, that's what it means to say Verse number 19, but when they deliver you up, see now when I'm reading fast also at a quite a good speed, you are able to understand, right? Because we set the context. But when they deliver you up, do not worry. 
you have to read and I, i think i spoke in tamil i'm sorry english people you cannot understand but we spoke a good session about do not worry which jesus mentioned in or you can take and read matthew 6:25 to 34 you take and read you will understand why you shouldn't be worrying jesus spoke about that now i have no time to cover that okay but when they deliver you up do not worry about how or what you should speak for it will be given to you in the tower what you should speak don't worry about the future that's all he's trying to say here it will be taken care don't worry about your sickness your job your family your children your what to wear what to eat all that he has described there that is connected here don't worry have that confidence my god who called me who began the good work in me will finish in style philippians 1:6 Verse number twenty. For it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your Father who speaks in you. Father, don't worry. The great, the Creator who said, "The great I am," to Moses, is living in you as Holy Spirit. Don't worry. Verse twenty-one. Now, brother will deliver up brother to a death. See what kind of persecutions can happen. I told you right. Not always physical persecution. Not always shedding blood and all that. Emotional persecutions. You see in a family. they will fight like dogs brother will deliver a brother to death and a father is child uh, and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death oh my goodness put to death itself that means what no they won't kill i mean lot of children are killing parents they don't give money for silly reasons and all they kill i am reading that in the newspaper nowadays more often it is happening uh, that's why you need to teach the morals to your children don't don't be so worked up they are good at music uh, academics they always score first rank in the university it doesn't matter do uh, how is their moral values being taught check it out right being put to death also other means is like they will keep torturing right they won't be obedient they will uh, disrespect you and all that what happens is emotionally you will be worked up and you will end up in a massive heart attack or you will become mentally ill or something like that depression and then it leads you to death it happens all this is happening more these days more more often these days compared to what it was a decade or two decades ago and you will be hated by all for my name's sake verse number 22 is very important i will take extra 5 minutes bear with me but i will close you will be hated by all for my name's sake i told you no all is going well huh? everybody at your workplace likes you then there is a problem you are not a true disciple why because you you kind of adjust and go you kind of compromise compromising christian no you will not be a compromiser yet you will not be rude neither will you be angry nor you will be sinful you understand huh? yet you will politely convey a no as a no to me sorry this is against my doctrine against my bible sorry then people will start hating you they won't like you ah oh, this guy i also have a religion i also have a tradition am i not compromising and coming that is between you and what kind of god you are worshiping but my god has asked me not to do sorry daniel said that Mordecai said that he did not bow down to Haman guy, and it went up to killing him. Right? That's exactly what I'm trying to say here. Nothing is well, but he who endures to the end will be saved. Bible says, twenty-three verse twenty-three. But when they persecute you in the city, flee to another. See, he's teaching little bit of wisdom. Correct? No. If nothing is going well in one place, find a different company or find a different place. But you cannot find a different family. That's why you need to build your family. in godly way teach them moral values explain to your wife explain to your husband not once twice million times get them on your side win their souls family but workplace you can change if you cannot i'm not saying bible says this okay and he who endures to the end will be saved but most for assuredly i say to you you will not have uh, gone through the cities of israel before the son of man comes anyway this is in a different context it is told we will ignore that for a moment right verse 24 a disciple is not above his teacher nor a servant above his master this means that you need to pay attention to what jesus is telling you for the last one hour verse 25 it is enough for a disciple that he be like his teacher matthew 5:48 john 14:12 just be like god as how he is perfect teach see learn and understand the principles of jesus learn if they have called the master of the house belzebub jesus was called the called the prince of demons <laughs> then imagine your situation they will call you even with worse names how much more they will call those of his household but but verse 26 we will close with this therefore do not fear them 
because i have told you everything up front that's what jesus is trying to tell this was written 2000 years ago and even to this day it is true that's the power of gospel but there is nothing covered that will not be revealed and hidden that will not be known see exactly what i have told bible is telling that nothing hidden from you therefore have that confidence live in confidence that god our creator who called us will help us because he is faithful eyes closed and heads bowed down heavenly father we want to thank you for this wonderful teaching thank you for helping us to understand what is persecution and in the midst of persecution lord you have told that if god for us who can be against us and we will be more than conquerors romans 8:31 and 37 says and lord he who have begun the good work in us will finish it we have that faith in you god help us help my brother and sisters who are down in their spirits or who is going through any kind of problems tortures tribulations help them lord help them in the in the midst of all this may they bounce back as victors and overcomers as it is written in 1 corinthians 15 57 that we will possess victory in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen god bless you stay tuned subscribe to our channel get access to all our videos and you will have comprehensive understanding from various teachings that has been uh, spoken from the bible god bless you god bless you